In this video we're going to solve some more uh, rational equations. So let's look at part D here. Solve 5 over 3x plus 2 equals 3 over 2x. Now if you solve these before, if we have something of this form where you just have a fraction equals a fraction, you can do something called cross multiply. You can mul do 5 times 2x will equal 3 times 3x plus 2. But why does that work? Well notice we're going to solve this the same way we've solved some previous problems by multiplying both sides by uh, the, the same um, expression. And the expression that we're going to use is just the product of the denominator. So let's multiply both sides of this equation by 3x plus 2 times 2x. Okay, both sides of the equation are going to get multiplied by that same thing. Notice on the right hand side the 2x's get knocked out, right? They divide out and what we're left with is 3 times 3x plus 2 which is 9x plus 6 if you distribute that 3. On the left side the 3x plus 2's go away and we're just left with 2x times 5 and that's 10x. So notice what you ended up getting was 5 times 2x equals 3 times 3x plus 2. That's the same thing that you would have gotten if you had done cross multiplication. Okay, now when we solve this we can subtract 9x from both sides and we get x is equal to 6. Okay, so and if you can go back in the original equation you can check that 6 works. If you plug in 6 into this, this uh, left side of the original equation you get 5 over 20, right, 18 plus 2. If you plug in 6 into the right side of the equation you get 3 over 12. But notice these are the same thing, they're both equal to 1 fourth. Okay, so 6 really did work. Okay, now we have uh, an equation uh, that uh, 2 over x plus 5 plus 1 over x minus 5 equals 16 over x squared minus 25. Now we could try to multiply both sides of this equation by uh, x plus 5 times x minus 5 times x squared minus 25, but I think that's a little bit overkill because the x squared minus 25 is a difference of squares. It can be factored to x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay, and on the left hand side uh, we have 2 over x plus 5 plus 1 over x minus 5. So what we really need to mul multiply by is not x plus 5 times x minus 5 times x squared minus 25. We can just multiply both sides of this equation by x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay, let's multiply both sides of the equation by this. Okay, now on the right hand side we're going to get some nice things to happen, right? A lot of things go away, divide out, and we just end up with 16. On the left hand side we're also going to get some nice things to happen, but we have to distribute this x plus 5 times x minus 5. So do x plus 5 times x minus 5 times the first term and then times the second term. Well when we multiply it by the first term the x plus 5's go away and we're just left with 2 times x minus 5. Okay, and when we multiply x plus 5 times x minus 5 times the next term, the x minus 5's go away, and we're just left with 1 times x plus 5. Okay, so what we have is 2x minus 10, if you distribute the 2, plus x plus 5 equals 16. Combine our x's here, our like terms, we have 3x, uh, and then minus 10 and plus 5 would be minus 5 equals 16, add 5 to both sides, we get 3x is equal to 21, and so x is equal to 7. Okay, and you can check if you want, if you plug in 7 into the original equation, it'll take a little bit of work to check this, but uh, you'll get a true statement. Now if our answer had been say uh, 5 or minus 5, that might throw up a warning flag because uh, then if we had plugged either 5 or minus 5 in here, uh, in one of these things we'd end up dividing by 0. Okay, and the last one that we're going to look at is x over or x plus 14 over x equals negative 9. Now notice we only have one denominator here, so let's multiply both sides of this equation by x. Okay, that's our denominator. And when we do this, notice the left or the right hand side is just minus 9x. The left hand side we get x times x, that's x squared, plus x times 14 over x, but x times 14 over x is just 14. Right, the x's divide out. And then if we add 9x to both sides we get x squared plus 9x plus 14 equals 0. Well notice what we have here is a quadratic equation. Okay, and we can solve this quadratic equation well, uh, by the quadratic formula, but I think this one will factor. In fact I think it factors to be x plus 7 times x plus 2. 
Okay, because we get x times x is x squared. We have a 7x and a 2x gives us 9x, and 7 times 2 is 14. So notice our solutions are negative 7 and negative 2. Okay, and if you went and plug those into the original equation, let's try, for example, negative 7. If you plug in negative 7, you get negative 7 plus 14 over negative 7 equals negative 9. Is that true? Right, that's a question mark here. Well, this is negative 7. Uh, it's really minus 2, right? That's a f uh, 14 over minus 7 is minus 2. And does that equal negative 9? Yeah, negative 7 minus another 2 does equal negative 9. And you can also check uh, minus 2. Uh, that will also be a solution. In fact, let's do it. Minus 2 plus 14 over minus 2 equals uh, equals minus 9. And this would say minus 2 minus 14 equals minus 9, and that's true. Okay, so negative 7 and negative 2 both work. But notice we ended up uh, getting two solutions uh, to this um, uh, rational equation.